bring them in. Hey there, good man fam, and welcome new viewers to another episode of the Female Guessing Game. Now, the way this game works is that I'll review a video that has a single female in it or multiple females in it. But here's the catch. When it's a single female, I'll be asking you if she's a traditional woman, modern woman, or modern female. However, when it's multiple females in the video, you won't know about which female I'm asking you until the end of the video. So you have to stay to the end of the video to see about which female I'm asking you is a traditional woman, modern woman, or modern female. Ready? Let's get it. So you say people should be themselves, should be genuine. You're, I think you're right. And if I can call back to a moment earlier in this podcast, I agree. Women should stop wearing makeup, get no more plastic surgery, start being genuine, stop wearing makeup, stop with the face filters, stop with the Photoshop, no BBLs, no fake, no lip, lip filler. How do y'all think that's going to go over? Because he's spitting right now. If you're going to say this, then you also have to say that. How do you all think they're going to take this? Let's see. Fair? Totally. Yeah. Just be yourself, ladies. Except you know, minimal makeup. You're good. Let's move What's that? forward with this movement. Except makeup. But... Except makeup? Oh, keep the makeup. I think women compare? should be their genuine selves and just be yourself. Stop wearing makeup, guys. Why would you compare <laughs> like your physical appearance to your... Mm -hmm. It's part of your genuine self, whatever the hell that means. Your physical appearance. Okay. Do you think... Does she not think that Makeup has something to do with your physical appearance. I think that she realized, oh, shoot, what I'm about to say might not make any sense because they're both physical appearance. So she stopped and Andrew bailed her out by saying that whole genuine self thing, which was hilarious, by the way. I, don't need, I, mean. I would argue for both men and women. But do you think men care about a woman's physical appearance? Yes, yes. of course. Yes. OK, so. If a major attraction trigger for men is a woman's physical appearance, isn't it? Don't you think if you're playing with someone in that way by deceiving on the looks front, that you're almost baiting them in some way, deceptively, romantically? Wait, we're talking about makeup again? Yeah, she, she brought it back. It wasn't me. It was definitely her. It was definitely Isabella. <laughs> okay. Now, this is one thing that I can't stand that I see a lot of females do on some of these podcasts. They'll be talking as though they're the ones who are running the show. Like she just said, what are we talking about makeup again? If you don't like the subject matters, you can go. They did this on the FNF podcast too. People are talking about, why do we keep talking about, can we just move on? This is the thing. They're so used to them being able to get whatever they want, having no personality around which anyone would want to actually be, that they think that they can come on million dollar podcasts with millions of, of doggone subscribers and say, no, things should be done my way. I feel like we should move on. So let's move on. Who the freak are you? You don't dictate what goes on here. No, but you said, well, what does wearing makeup have to do with being genuine and being yourself? Well, I would argue since, look, I'll just take the position, and I think women actually care far more about looks than men do, that let's just say men are these like superficial, shallow beings that just, they really care way too much about physical appearance. Well, women are basically pulling on men on, on that like attraction trigger in men in order to bait them into relationships, in order to bait them into dating by changing your physical appearance. Exactly. Now that's the crazy thing. This is not something that should be rocket science. This is not even something that should be debatable. That's literally what they're doing. The whole peacocking thing, and I think peacocks it might be the male or whatever, but the whole point is, you see the other sex and you say, mm, OK, I want the other sex in some type of way. So what can I do to get them? Females and males bait differently. Males bait 
with their resources. Females bait with their looks. How it seems like before this video started that the argument was that that's not something that females do or that when they're doing it, they're not being deceptive when they use makeup is crazy. I don't need no man. Through a facade, through a veneer. Yeah, but if a man, if as a man, you found it to be so deceitful that this woman you met wore makeup and you finally see her without makeup, why wouldn't you just break up with her after seeing her without makeup if it's that big of a deal for you and you find it that deceitful? That's the thing. Some guys do. Now, it's kind of rare because guys, although they like the way you look, when guys get invested into a female, they start doing things that females don't do. Males do the opposite. So what females do is when they meet you, they try to find a way to not date you. They try to find a reason to not date you. They say, huh, I don't like his shoes. Uh, he doesn't, I don't like his hair. You could do everything right for 20 minutes. And then in the 21st minute, you do something like scratch your head a certain way. And they're like, oh, I've got the egg. I don't want to deal with him anymore. Just like that, gone. Whereas males always try to find reasons to date females. They try to find reasons where it's okay for them to do that. And so once a male gets into you, and even though he might see that you don't look the same without your makeup, most males won't leave if they like your attitude. So her asking that, that's kind of weird. Well, I... Okay, entering into a relationship, I prefer women who wear minimal or no makeup. So I would not, if a woman was like constantly caking on a face of makeup, that's not the type of woman I'm pursuing. Well, that's your preference. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But as if we're having a conversation about the degree to which makeup can be deceptive and not be an accurate representation of what you actually look like, here's the argument. If makeup didn't actually change what you look like, why would you wear it? So your, your argument is essentially, well, makeup has absolutely zero impact on my attractiveness and how I look, yet I spend money and waste time putting it on to I not make that. any impact on my physical appearance? I didn't say that. Now you're putting words in my mouth. See, here's the thing. They cannot stand when they're put in a logic corner. And this is what I always say. This is why hope and subjectivity are the two worst character traits to have for females. I coined this a while ago. It's the worst two character traits to have. Some people don't think they're character traits. I think they are. It's because those allow females to get out of any logic corner in which you put them. So he just put them in a logic corner. If makeup doesn't change the way you look, then why is it you spend all this money in, in this on there? And then she's like, well, I didn't say that. Now she's going to try to find a trap door to get out of it by saying, well, I didn't say this one thing. I said this. And don't get me wrong. Words matter. But the way that they do this whole language shifting or moving the battlefield onto a field of battle in which they think they can win is a completely different thing than what males do. Males don't do that. Males are like, is this the battlefield on which I put myself? Oh, OK, then that's what we're going to fight. Females are like, nope. I put myself here. Oh, oh, I didn't think this through and I'm, oh, I'm losing. No, no, let me move. I, I have to go over here. And that's where it seems like it's about to go with her. Let's see. Grab yourself some merch on the way out in order to support the channel. And of course, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks, good man fam.